Hello, today we're setting up the CDDP Advanced System. So whether you got it with a weld head or a hand attachment, we're going to show you how to do that. Okay, so as you can see, I turned the welder around so that you could see the back panel. We're just going to do a basic setup as though you purchased one of our weld heads or one of our handheld attachments. So if you bought a Sunstone weld head, you have the two uh, welding cables. These are your positive and negative cables that you need to attach to the positive and negative terminals on the back of the welder. Um, it will have come with the screw, the nuts and bolts that you need. Uh, each bolt has a um, lock washer on it. So just make sure that that stays on the outside and you'll pull, pull that through or push that through and attach the nut and then you'll tighten that up and you'll do the same thing with the other one. And again, uh, run those bolts from the outside so that when you're tightening them, uh, your Allen key doesn't get in the way. If it's on this side, it'll hit the machine, but it's, if it's on the outside, you're better. So then you'll go through and you'll tighten those up, get those real uh, snug and secure so that they don't come loose. Uh, next, you have the weld head trigger cable. And this is a three pin trigger cable, so you will plug it into the three pin port at the bottom of the CDDPA. Um, and again, just line the holes up, which I didn't do. There we go. And that'll screw on. And this is what allows your weld head to automatically trigger when you're doing your welding process. Uh, next, you have the E stop uh, interconnect. So basically this is what overrides your e-stop. So if it's just one of our weld heads like this and you're doing this standard setup, uh, you have to plug this in to override the e-stop. Now if you're running a different setup that's automation and whatnot and you have your e-stop, this is where you plug that in into that switch. Lastly, uh, we need to power the system. So you will grab your power cable. and plug that in right here, and then run this to your um, power. So that is the basic setup for the CDDP advanced unit that we just came out with. Uh, it comes in a 200, 400, and 600 watt second model, and uh, the setup's the same for any one of those machines. If you guys have any questions, please give us a call, 801-658-0015. Thanks for joining us.